New at 11, at schools across our state and the country, educators are having to find new ways to teach class and make it interesting. Tonight, 10 TV's Bryant Somerville introduces us to one Hilliard Davidson High School teacher who says all he needs is his backyard. Hello, math students. My name is Mr. Doreen. Not many people with 100% conviction could tell you what this school year would look like. I'm making this video because I thought it would be a great, fun way to introduce myself. It's safe to say, though, nobody thought it would be like this. It's actually kind of, it's actually kind of awesome. You know, Chuck Dury so. teaches at Hilliard Davidson like High. He has been the last 14 years. This year, unlike any other. Well, honestly, it was nerves. I mean, I'm in, the, I'm in the summer like everybody else was really nervous about this crazy school year. Knowing his classes would be hybrid, both online and in class, he expected a challenge. But how do you hold creative attention through a computer screen? The answer was lying off the side of the road near his home. I gotta have this telephone. Ah! With permission and a little help, that pole now stands in his backyard. What can we learn from a telephone pole? <laughs> Turns out. Well, it's funny, but math, math teachers love telephone poles. It's wild. Quite a bit. So it makes this right angle with the ground. And then we're into right triangles, and right triangles are like a cornerstone of like a geometry course. So there's um, triangle similarity, trigonometry, there's even like systems of equations, Pythagorean theorem. Here's a little fun fact about me. When I was a senior in high school, my trigonometry teacher let me audit the class. I didn't need it to graduate, but believe you me, if it weren't for that, it would have been bad. Now, Mrs. Ferris did her best with me, and I certainly appreciate that, but let's be honest. It's been a few years since I've been in high school, and I don't remember any of this stuff anyway. But what Doree is doing is like a new era of teaching math. He is the variable, so to speak, when it comes to keeping math interesting. But I had to ask what the creativity and the videos and the editing and the telephone poll... Why? because I got excited about it and it was a weird, quirky thing. And I realized that, that that was the energy I want to make in my room. I want to get them excited about something. No one knows what this school year will look like, but give teachers credit for finding new, exciting ways to teach class with 100% conviction. Bryant Somerville, 10 TV News. Now, Mr. Dury says this particular lesson is still being ironed out and it should be ready for students next month, but pretty cool. There are so many teachers with interesting, creative ways to teach their students right now. We love to see it for sure.